Dylan lads, this is the only video on YouTube that will show you completely from scratch how to predict touchdown pass props for Mahomes and Hertz for the upcoming Super Bowl, so make sure you subscribe to become an official lad. So lads, as usual, I'm starting with a totally blank spreadsheet and I'm going to name this stats. Now I'm going to pull up an internet window on the left here with the website Pro Football Reference, which is where we're getting our stats from. So the link to this page is in the description below, or you can just search up Pro Football Reference and click on the first result. Now over here, lads, under 2022 NFL standings, click on Summary. This is going to take you to a new page where you're going to hover over the more 2022 NFL pages bar and under Standards Player Stats, select Passing. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to a new page where you'll see the first table of stats under the head of Passing. And these are the stats we're going to use to predict the number of passing touchdowns thrown this year in the Super Bowl by each quarterback. Right now, this starter is sorted by the number of total passing yards with Mahomes league leader, but you can sort by other metrics such as passing touchdowns or even age if you want. So, now in our table, locate Mahomes' role of stats and then Jalen Hurts' role of stats before going back to Excel where we're going to start the calculation. So our first column header, um, let's make this bold first so it's easy to read. Now our first column header is going to be quarterbacks. And under this, we're just going to list the quarterbacks in our Super Bowl matchup. So this will be Mahomes in cell A2, and then under Mahomes, Hertz in A3. All right, now in column B, write the header games. And under games, we're going to match each quarterback to the number of games they played during the regular season over here in our internet window. So Mahomes has played 17, so type in 17, and Hertz has only played 15, which you can see here in his row of stats, so type in 15. Now the next column is going to be passing touchdowns or passing TDs, um, of which, according to our passing data, Mahomes has 41. So go back to Mahomes' row of stats, and you can get rid of this little annoying pop-up window and Mahomes has 41. Let's go back and type that into Excel, 41, press enter, and then now let's search for Hertz's, and he has 22. So write that in, 22. Now in the next column across, column D, we've got to find the number of passing touchdowns each quarterback scores per game by dividing their amount of touchdowns by the games they've played. So, for Mahomes equals his 41 passing touchdowns divided by 17 games, drag that down for Hertz, and uh, replace this result with one of two decimal places, and we can see Mahomes scores 2.41 passing touchdowns every game versus Hertz 1.47. Now that we know our quarterback's average passing touchdowns per game, we need to adjust this figure to take into account the opposing team's passing defense. So lads in the cell E1, write the column header opposition passing touchdowns divided by average. And in this column, we'll calculate how many passing touchdowns the Eagles and Chiefs concede relative to the average team in the league. To do this, go back into your Pro Football Reference page and scroll to the bottom where you'll see the header More 2022 NFL Pages. Now, under the subheader Awards, click on the link that says Team Defense. Once you do that, this will take you to a new page on the website where you have to scroll down all the way to the table which has the header Passing Defense. And that's right here. Now to calculate the figure in Mahomes column over in cell E2, back in Microsoft Excel, we need to defy, uh, divide Philadelphia's passing touchdowns conceded all year by the league average. So Philadelphia here in the first column, they conceded 22 touchdowns, move to the bottom of the table where you'll see that the league average is 23.4. So select cell E2 on your worksheet and type in equals 22 divided by 23.4 and you'll get a figure which when reduced to two decimal points is 0 0.94 which means Philadelphia is better than average defending against passing touchdowns as they only concede 0 0.94 for the average teams one. Doing the same thing for Jalen Hurts we need to find the Chiefs passing touchdowns conceded which is a whopping 33 over here and divide it by the 23.4 league average. So in cell E3, it equals 33 divided by 23.4, and you'll get 1.41.
Now lads, the basis of our model is going to be running thousands of simulations to predict the likelihood of each number of touchdowns Mahomes or Hertz could score in the Super Bowl. So under this header named simulations, I'm going to use the binomial inverse function to simulate the number of passing touchdowns Mahomes will score based off of our data to the left. So equals binom.inv, so b-i-n-o-m dot i-n-v, binomial inverse, open bracket. Now our trials type in 10,000, comma, probability s, d2, passing touchdowns per game, multiplied by e2, opposing passes on average, divided by 10,000, comma, and our alpha value is the rand function, r-a-n-d, open bracket, close bracket, close bracket again to finish the formula, press equals, and Mahomes has scored one in this simulation, press backspace, and it changes each time. Drag that down to apply for Hertz, and in this game, Mahomes scored six passing touchdowns to Hertz zero. That's extremely unlikely, but uh, we can run this simulation uh, many times by holding down the backspace button or just pressing backspace, and it changes each time. Once you've done that, lads, make another spreadsheet and title it Simulations. And in cell B2 of this worksheet, use the transpose formula to make the quarterback's headers horizontally. So equals transpose, open bracket, A2 to A3, make that bold. Now in A3, write trials, and to spill out numbers ascending from 1 to 5,000, you can either use the sequence formula, or if unable to do that due to an older version of Excel, just drag down the numbers to row 5,003. Immediately under Mahomes' cell, it's just going to equal his simulated passing touchdowns in the stats worksheet. Do the same thing for Hertz, and you can refresh these simulations again by pressing backspace on your sheet or pressing the F9 key. Now, lads, highlight the whole range from A3 to C5003, um, and in the data tab above, select the drop-down list from What If Analysis, and then click on Data Table. Skip the input for the row input cell, and for the column input cell, make it equal to a cell not going to be used by the simulation, such as M1. Press OK in your 5,000 simula uh, simulations representing 5,000 Super Bowls of a player's simulated passing touchdowns will appear, even if you have to be a little patient and wait for it to properly load. Um, now to compile these results, we can hop back into the stats worksheet where I'm going to make a big banner header by merging cells A6 to O9, filling it with a light blue um, fill and a bottom border and I'm going to write in the text Super Bowl betting so I'm going to split the below cells in half with a right border real quick so just highlight the cells G10 to G18 come in select the drop down list and right border now merging the cells A10 to G11 in size 18 text, I can make that equal to Mahomes in a darker shade. And in this half of the table is going to be Mahomes stats, and in this half is going to be Jalen Hertz's stats. So it equals A3 and it equals Hertz. So, lads, now we can move on to the percentage chance of Mahomes scoring 0 through to 8 touchdowns. So in cell A12, Write the header exact touchdowns in bold. Now from A13 to A21, list the numbers 0 through to 8. And then in the B column, put the header percentage chance. And this is going to be the formula. Equals count if open bracket. Now our range we're choosing from is B4 to B5003 in the simulations worksheet. And our criteria is the exact touchdowns in the A column. So A13, close bracket, press enter. And we see the number 505 come up, but we don't want that. We want to divide it by 5,000 to give us a percentage chance. So hit enter, 0 0.1034. Now we'll convert the range to percentages, and we can see Mahomes has a 10% chance of getting zero touchdowns, uh, passing touchdowns in the Super Bowl. All right, we can go into conditional formatting and then color scales to better aesthetically represent this so we can see quite clearly that the most likely result is Mahomes will score two passing touchdowns in this match at about a 27% likelihood. So now in the C column, write the header true odds and we can convert these percentages to betting odds by um, typing in equals one divided by the percentage chance. We'll convert this to currency form 
So go ahead and select currency there, it'll change it to dollar form. And so a 10.44% chance implies that the odds for that event is about $9.50. And as you refresh these cells, it'll change because it's a simulation. Let's do the same thing for Jalen Hurts, although we can do it a bit quicker this time because instead of having to write the whole counting formula again, all we have to do is change the column from B to C. So go ahead and manually change it from B to C, press enter, and Hertz has a 13% chance. So drag that down so it's correct for every other touchdown occurrence. And for the true odds, one divided by I13, drag that down and change to currency form. That's accounting, we want currency. Yep, and to two decimal places. So $3.65 is the event he scores two touchdowns. And lads, we can also do the same thing for the over under market. So in column E here, just type in over under uh, plus 1.5 passing touchdowns. That's the current market and then you can put over in this cell and under in the cell below. Now in the next column is going to be our percentage chance of each of these happening, and I'm gonna run you through the formula to find the percentage chance Mahomes goes over the 1.5 line. So count if, open bracket, our range is again, um, all the simulations, so B4 to B5003 absolute references, and the criteria is speech mark, more than sign, speech mark, and 1.5. So this is basically saying count all those that have a value over 1.5, and then of course divide by 5,000 to get a percentage. Auto fill that down for under, and all we need to change is the greater than sign to a uh, less than sign, and we've got our percentages, we'll have to convert that, and we find that Mahomes has a 65% chance of um, scoring more than 1.5 passing touchdowns in the Super Bowl. I just conditional formatted that. And we can find the true odds for this. So typing in true odds and then below it, it's just one divided by the chance of happening. So for example, if the um, bookmakers were offering odds of $1.90 on Mahomes going over. That's um, in theory a good bet because our model says it's worth $1.53. So in the long run, we would make money. However, that's assuming the model is 100% correct. So do the same thing for Jalen Hurts, but again, change the column from B to C up here in the formula bar and auto fill that down or you can just change it manually again. And for Hertz, it's a lesser of a chance, um, still equals 100%, both of them, by the way, a lesser of the chance he'll go over the two passing touchdowns. Thanks, lads. That's the end of the video. If you took any value away from this at all, make sure you subscribe to become an official lad.